Crowd going. Yes! Oh! Matt Corral, Ole Miss quarterback. Ooh, you yes me. Why? Can Ride the lightning, baby. Ride the Can you lightning. Call me a yeah, I love Matt Corral. Just one attitude for days. Look at that quality headband. How do you not love a quarterback who goes ahead and rocks the headband that hard? Immense amounts of eye black, but we'll actually talk about the stuff he does on the field. Great arm. Right now, zero sense of touch. He's just going to throw it as hard as he possibly can every single time, which rocks maybe not the best thing at the next level, but he can work on that, all right? A relentless competitor, and I think played two different styles of football based on the year when he had a lot of receivers. They threw a lot, and he looked more like a gunslinger. This year, it was more of an RPO-based offense. In fact, I think he threw more RPOs than any other quarterback in the SEC uh, and, like, played a totally different kind of offense and ran the ball a lot. There are some concerns about his his durability just because yeah. of his size uh, but yeah the potential is there like between him and how I think the ceiling is higher on corral yeah I think so too uh, the only thing with how I think how has the best deep ball yeah, of all the quarterbacks that, one, yeah. that were in this draft but Matt Corral a guy who's a dual threat he can do it with his legs as we've seen in the clips uh, the only knock I had on Matt Corral is that I don't see many tight window throws right everything is RPO uh, but I do love the fact that he hits his guys in stride, and I, I like this pick for Carolina. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's something. <laughs> That's really that. <laughs> yes, is, you can yes. only get that so, analysis so, so I'll right. Now. Yeah. I'll ask you this: With this pick, <laughs> Matt Corral going something. to uh, Carolina, yeah. Baker Mayfield is xed out now. Yeah, I think I think that Baker is not the is not going to end up there. That was like the leading thought despite the fact that Robbie Anderson said no <laughs> under uh How did he say <laughs> no and then he followed it up by saying <laughs> facts facts yeah. yeah so i he is probably breathing a breath of relief i guess he would rather have Matt Corral than Baker Mayfield but i do wonder what this means for the future that they have there because we all talked about this before saying like there's less pressure there's going to be less attention on the quarterback now I don't believe that that's true. No. Uh, because these quarterbacks were so high profile and because that situation is in such desperate need of a quarterback, there is going to be calls for him to play just like if he was a first rounder. I don't know that he got the, the soft landing, the quiet entry that we thought was a benefit of falling in the draft like this. But and he's playing behind a guy right now at the moment that, that said – that he's seen ghosts mm -hmm. while playing the game of football. I, I still can't get over that to, to this day. Like, every time the Falcons play the Carolina Panthers, I bring it up uh, <laughs> uh, in, in, in our production meetings and in the pregame show because he's seen ghosts on the football field. I would not have called it that Malik Willis would end up in a better spot than Matt Corral. Yeah. Like, I would mm. not. I thought, like, like, there are very few places that Willis could have landed that would have been as good as Tennessee is for him. Mm -hmm. He looked out. Yeah. I, I think, too, it is a little, uh, like, even though we're in the third round, to Dominique's point, Carolina traded the 137th pick and a third rounder next year to move up to 94 to get Matt Corral. So I think that makes, you know, that, that does speak to some of the pressure element that is going to be inevitable here 